Hello, Mac Warriors. How's it going? And welcome back to another episode of Mac Warrior Online, where we are playing the Jester. Let's go. We are playing the Catapult Hero, or one of the Catapult Heroes that is all energy based, and we are playing it in a very classic build with two large pulse lasers, four medium lasers, two jump jets, two AMSs, as well as a light engine 300 that keeps the mech fast, that keeps us safe from XL engine explosions, and we have enough heat management to sustain ourselves. The Alpha Strike is 40 damage, which is it's okay, it's nothing crazy, it's also nothing bad, and we have a good chunk of defense thanks to our AMSs here, and the Jester, or the Catapult, is rather small compared to other heavy mechs, so you are usually not that big of a, of a priority for your enemies, unless of course you are the only one exposing yourself to your enemy's front line. Double AMS again, because we have an event currently running and a lot of people are trying to farm it with LRMs, but I just wanted to counter it a bit and get a good match score out of that instead of active LRMing. So let's take a look at the skills before we get into the fight here. We have invested into the fire poetry, obviously, into the laser vomit nodes, because I have uh, all lasers here. Therefore, the, get the yellow nodes here, and then a bit of heat generation, as well as cooldown on the way down. This is what we want. We're also going for AMS overload, both of the nodes, because we have two of them, and it makes absolute sense taking that, because this way our AMS does more damage to the missiles, and it's easier to intercept them. On the way down, bit of armor, and then the most important thing, cool run and heat containment. Since we are an all-energy build, we need that to keep to make cold and so that we can you know shoot more often and have a good time on the battlefield 60 percent radar deprivation keep us safe from the enemy sensors and therefore for target priority and we have uav plus double cool shot it's just a natural laser vomit build guys nothing crazy nothing fancy but it works and that's what i like about the jester that's the build i wish you all a lot of fun in the two games that are coming now if you have that don't forget to leave a rating subscribe to the channel if you haven't already click the bell icon so you get the notifications and now it's time to hit the battlefield all right first game of the day we are playing conquest on the what is that here river city i haven't played river city in a while okay let's go let's take kappa let's get to the center and then we're gonna try to get things done so, um, yeah, we have a storm crow. By the way, uh, let me quickly take a look at my mechs here. I see no assault mechs. Oh, wait, there's a Banshee and a Fafni and Alpha Lands. Man, these days are so crazy. It is so messed up these days, uh, with all of the lances being being completely thrown over. Usually you would look in Charlie lands, but now it's all in Alpha lands because groups are dropping and the matchmaker is really having a hard time and all of that. So, I don't know. By the way, I have my large pulses here on the sides because I don't, didn't want them to have the large pulses in the ears. It would be better for peeking though. At the same time, I'm losing my ears a lot quicker than my side torsos, so... Yeah, you got that. You can understand that, I guess. Theta is being capped, so I'm gonna do a quick laser beam, so I wanna see if I can stop it from being capped. Yeah, it's a Prana. I hit him. Okay. Once a little bit. Okay, so that being said, let's try to orientate ourselves a little bit more to our friendly Assault Max. That should have been a hit, by the way, against the Urban Mag that is in the water there. Okay, okay. There's a Vapor Eagle. Now, let's go ahead and try to hit him. Running SRMs, he cannot really retaliate, that's good. So we're gonna try to apply some damage. We're gonna apply to apply... Try to apply... We're gonna try to apply some damage there. Let's go. I am just a little jester. And jesters are made for killing everyone! And eating donuts. That's of course a thing. Okay. Careful here, because that's a lot of assault mechs coming. And this... Oh my god, this guy is scary as hell. This Kodiak there. Yeah, it's fine. Okay, I'm safe, ish, data is ours, that's good, we have dealt a lot of early damage, I want this Highlander, yeah, let's go, let's try to push forward a little bit and uh, also make sure that we are kind of safe from the guys on the left side, man, this Kid Fox has balls, oh, sorry, 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 okay, we stay, we stay on the Highlander, what, everybody's pushing in front of me, I mean, of course, I'm pulling back, but, ah, no. So Highlander is being taken care of. I don't think I don't think that I need to go for it. We'd rather apply some more pressure here on the right side because we have a lot of enemies to kill. So here we go. Got him. And another one. Great. Down he goes. Left side, right side, both destroyed. Bam! Course it down. We should really counter rotate. Guys, the enemies are behind us now. Let's go to the left side. Left side, left side. Um, let's see. I'm gonna go for the Heat Vision. Oh yeah, take that, Irby. I'm gonna take some damage in return. Healing some to another Urban Mech. Do I have two Urbans? Seems like it. 
It's an Orion. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. This Fafni is kind of pushing, so I'm gonna try to support him. That was not an urban mech. Hmm. I mean, it was, but it's not anymore. Alright. Um, it's gonna be the Hellbringer. So his side also was open, I saw that earlier. It's just natural to go for it now. And then we're gonna try to take the other side. He's a one-shot, literally. Hey, and we got the kill! Back to the urban mech. Jenner. Cicada. Jenner. Okay. Uh, we need to slowly get the caps back, guys. I'm gonna go to Epsilon. Just because the Jenner went there. <laughs> Let's go! That was great reaction to the NASCAR, guys. We have a stomp here. I am very well aware of that. However, just because my team reacted so nicely to the call, we were actually able to get things done here. Left or right? Um, okay, let's go for it. Yeah, let's get him. Nice one. Alright, up to Epsilon, because we have killed every single enemy, and now it is time to just spread out and get the caps, and then we're gonna win the game. So, very well done. We have used a bunch of our AMS ammo, it's 1,500 shots, I believe, that we have uh, ground, grounded, grind, ground through, ground, right? And that was good. It was really good. Enemies were super split, and we capitalized on it, and when they were trying to apply pressure on us, then we were turning around and we were holding it. And that's how we won. Okay, cool. Let's go. Let's uh, see the end score and then we go over to the next round. And I think we dealt like four, five hundred damage. It wasn't too much. Yeah, 474. But two killing blows and eight assists and we destroyed 244 missiles. However, I think the game was over so quickly that we were on the upper end of that. Actually top damage in the team. In the game. Holy crap. That was the first round. Let's go over to the next one and see how this will go down. Alright, the second game of the day. We are playing the Forest Colony Classic. Hey, let's go guys. It is a classic. Let's try to get something done here. Me being on the front line is really good here because map is small, map is not lerm friendly. But that also is an indicator that not many people may have picked LRMs here and picked the map because of their rather brawly loadout. So, hmm, now that I've said that, I think I should try to stay somewhat safe with the uh, with the team somewhere anyway this is gonna be where we are yeah oh my god they are already here um this is where we're gonna try to set up uh but this is not where we're gonna stay because it's bad it's really bad all of them are in the water guys if you want to fight then fight the water we're gonna fight the water so here's where we are uh pulling back into this drop point was not an option for me not at all okay crap i don't like that zeus Ooh, crazy Crazy. Okay, I couldn't hit him anymore. Um, we have some people here, though. I mean, we have everybody. Can we just push that? Is there any kind of cover? I'm gonna push forward now. Charlie 2, let's go. Okay, I'm gonna go with uh, the heat vision here so we can actually see what's going on. And I want that Zeus, mostly. He's completely separated from the team. So he's alone. We have a UAV that kind of confirms that. We are in his side, in his flank, in his back. But not his center of attention, seemingly. Side also, please. And here we go. Good kill. Let's keep it up. Uh, I think we have... Yeah, we have them, guys. Keep up the pressure on the catapult and we win the game. Alright. We might also be a little bit hot here. Oh, hello, Hatamoto. Hatamoto-chi. So far, my AMS is not doing anything. Oh, this Butterbee. This Butterbee is scary. Scary Butterbee. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna try to get a bit of, uh, you know backward depth now just not being on the front line not being an obvious target for my enemies it's still heat vision guys we have to we have to go for it and it looks good it looks very good okay this is just a large pulse 700 meters is oh wait we can shoot that guy with optimal damage uh people are moving i gotta move with them as a pack wow there's a lot of forward momentum included in this fight all right i got that thing Oh, don't want to lose my mech yet. That's the thing. That's the problem when we are the tail of the situation. Oh crap. Oh crap. Oh crap. I'm under under heavy stress now. These guys are rotating hard. Whoa. Whoa. What a freaking game, guys. Oh my god, this artillery. Not good. Okay. What's that? What what am I shooting here? It's another catapult. Lots, lots of catapults today. Interesting. Um that hunchback, I'm just shooting random targets right now. Because I wanna wanna get something done. I wanna contribute to the fight. Man, Victor is killable. Victor, Juliet. Okay, heat! Machine guns! 
No! No, 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 no. Twisting, twisting, twisting. To my armored side. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. That was scary. Okay, let's keep going. Where did the machine guns come from? It's a piranha. He's probably coming in in a second. So, wow, there's a... There's the piranha going to a full flank. I am hidden in plain sight, by the way, because enemies are targeting the friends that are on the front line. Oh, not, not anymore, though. Ah, this is a Timber Wolf. That's fine. We can, we can deal with him. He seems to be mostly missile based. Uh, has some micro pulses as well. And here's the piranha. I see what you were doing, buddy. All right, I got, I got Barra Acro here. Yeah, he was, he was going all the way in the flank to just get me. Yeah, it's okay. Get, get me. Whatever. You're the last dude. Maybe you're not getting me. Didn't get me! <laughs> Thank you, friends. Didn't get me. Alrighty. So, uh, let's take a look at the end score. My mech is trash. We are at 31%. We lost all of our internals. We got one killing blow, though. 10 assists, two kill, most damage dealt. 663 damage done. Five, five, 506 taken on a catapult. Three components destroyed. 211 missiles destroyed. Guys, that was it for today. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, then don't forget to leave a rating. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit the bell so you get the notifications. And I hope to see you guys next time. Goodbye.